Good morning, boys and girls. So today is Monday and we are gonna get right into our small groups. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna review the letters of the week. And this week we have two letters. We are going to review the letter A. Here's that capital A. And here is the lowercase a. A makes two sounds. It says its name, A. And it also says, ah like an alligator or apple. So a and a, two sounds. And we have another letter that we're gonna um, look at this week. This is the letter G. And this is the letter G. Now these don't look quite the same. Um, this is the capital letter G. And sometimes the lowercase letter doesn't always look a lot, doesn't always look the same, similar to the other one. But these are both Gs. This is the lowercase g, this is the capital G, and g usually says j, like giraffe, or, but it could say g, green. Um, so it makes different sounds as well. Excellent. Okay, so I have some here, just like this morning meeting, in morning meeting, and we're gonna count how many g's and how many a's do I have? So let me share my screen with you. There we go. So, Hmm, if I'm just looking at these and they're kind of all over the place, so it's really hard for me to like count because I might like count this one and then go here. It's just, it, there's a lot. So I'm gonna guess, We in, in math, we call that estimate. How many do you think are there? Do you think there's only one? Well, we can see there's more than one. Do you think there's like five? Do you think there's 10? How many do you think there are? Hmm. Okay, I have my guess. I just looking at them, I am thinking five. I think it looks doesn't look like a ton. So five. So let's go ahead. And I have my counting, um, my counting board here, and it has the numbers for me. But we can also if you didn't have a counting board, I would suggest you make them in a line and put them a little bit a space apart. That way, Every time you touch one and say a, a number, you know that the space means a new number is going to happen. Just like when we read a book and that space means another word is going to start. If you line them up and put a space between them, that means another number is going to start. So um, we'll do it both ways. Let's do it here and then we'll double check with our counting board. So will you count with me? What number do we start with? One. Oh, I think I heard my kitty say one. Okay, here we go. One two, three, four, five, six. I was close. I estimated five, but I counted six. Let's double check by putting them in my counting board. Count again with me. We go, so we start back at one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we counted correctly. So we also have six. And I don't know if you noticed, but I made a pattern. G, G, A, G, G, A. And so my pattern is G, G, A. So if I wanted to continue my pattern, so it's G, G, A, G, G, A, I would have to do G, G, A, G, G, A, because a pattern is something that repeats. Excellent job. Kiss your brains. I'm really proud of you. Okay, we have two more things to do. Yeah, two more things to do today. We're gonna go over our rhyme and I have a little friend that's gonna help me. Do you know what he is? Bears are very important to Miss Michelle. My grandfather, he passed away, but we his nickname was Bear Crick Mike. He owned a camp in the woods and it had lots of bears and um, he didn't hurt them. They just were there. And he got, became known, his nickname was Bear Crick Mike. And I know some of you have nicknames like James. I know your nickname is three. Um, I can't think, there was a couple other children that told me they had nicknames. Oh, on Hill, I know your, uh, on Hill Rodriguez, I know that your um, nickname is Santi. So we all have different nicknames. Okay, so let's go back to what we we're doing, our rhyme. Sorry. Okay, so I have my teddy bear. He's not real. He's just stuffed, my stuffed teddy bear. And there is a very popular rhyme about my teddy bear. And we did it at morning meeting. But if you weren't able to join us, you can join us now. Okay, so our rhyme goes like this. Teddy bear, teddy bear, 
turn around. Can you turn around like him? Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. And ground and round rhyme. They have that ound sign at the end. So let me say that again. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. And then he's touching the ground. Um, Teddy bear, teddy bear, reach up high. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the sky. Good job. And I have a little, um, a little video that we're gonna watch now. So I want you to stand up and I want you to become the teddy bear too. And listen for those rhyming words. Oops, stop share. That's not what I wanted to share with you. Okay, can you see that? Let's see. Here we go. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, reach up high. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the sky. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, reach up high. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the sky. Teddy bear, teddy bear, march in place. Teddy bear, teddy bear, keep up the pace. Teddy bear, teddy bear, reach down low. Real low to your toes. Teddy bear, teddy bear, up we go. Teddy bear, teddy bear, move your feet. Teddy bear, teddy bear, dance to the beat. Teddy bear, teddy bear, find your nose. Find your nose. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your toes. Okay, friends, I'm gonna stop it right there. Oh no, the teddy bear song wants to keep going. Let Miss Michelle pause it. There we go. Okay, friends, did you have fun? I love turning into other things like teddy bears or teapots like last week. Okay, so there was lots of rhyme in there. There was nose, toes, um, feet, beat. Uh, so again, while we're listening for rhyming words, we're listening for those words that have the same ending. Excellent. Okay, we have one more thing to do today. And in your learning kit for this week, Miss Michelle has a book in there and your book has a snowflake attached to it. And hopefully you guys got to dance in the snow yesterday morning. I know I did. And so this book is gonna talk about words, like where we are in space, like where things are in space. Like um, for example, my teddy bear is on top of my head. So he's on top. So if someone says, Miss Michelle, where's your teddy bear? I would say, on top of my head. Or if my teddy bear was being really silly and he got inside my pencil box and someone said, Miss Michelle, where's your teddy bear? I would say he is in, he's inside my pencil box. And then if he crawled out, which he can't, I'll help him. And now I'd say, Miss Michelle, where is your teddy bear? I would say, hmm, he is beside my pencil box and he can be below my pencil box. He can be on top of my pencil box. He can be far away from my pencil box. I could put him all different places. But in our learning kit this week, um, I have a snowflake and there's a book about the snowflake and the snowflake, it travels different places. And it's gonna need your help to put your snowflake places in the book. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna share my screen with you. Okay, so this is what your book lo looks like. My book is in color. So let me, um, let's just go over the words quickly. So taking a look at the front cover, um, remember we read the book from left to right. This is the front and this is the back. And we wanna start so that when we open the pages, we open it this way towards us. And I noticed that our book does not have numbers. So I'm just gonna have to be very careful to turn one page at a time so I don't miss anything. 
So there's two really important things that we look at on um, on the front cover of our book. So that, that title, which is the words, and I know how many words there are because of these spaces. Can you count how many words? One, two, three, four. And I see this special mark right here. This is called a question mark. And when we're talking about question marks, that means my voice is gonna ask a question as I read this. Where is the snowflake? So your voice kind of goes up. And then I'm gonna look at the illustrations, which is just a fancy word for picture. And I see a snowflake and we're gonna figure out where is that snowflake? So I'm gonna turn the pages carefully and I'll read and let's look at where the snowflake is. Where is the snowflake? The snowflake is on the boot. You see that? It is, it's on the boot. Where is the snowflake? Hmm, I don't even see the snowflake. The snowflake is behind the tree. Let's see. Oh, it was, it's behind the tree. Where is the snowflake? The snowflake is under the sled. There it is, under it. Where is the snowflake? The snowflake is between the hats. So here's one hat and here's a pink hat and it's in between them. This is in between. Where is the snowflake? The snowflake is beside the mittens. There it is, here are the mittens and there's the snowflake. We're on the last page. Where is the snowflake? The snowflake is in front of the hot chocolate. Mmm, it is, it's right in front. So this was Miss Michelle's book, but yours looks like this and your um, snowflake is attached to your book so you don't lose it. And so if you could ask a grown up or a sibling, maybe they can read it for you. And what I need you to do is practice putting it where they say. So if they say the snowflake is on the boot, where would I put it? Would I put it here? That's not on. Would I put it inside of it? That's not on. On looks like that. And you're gonna keep doing that with the rest of the book. And you can practice that all the time if you want. I'm gonna stop sharing. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, today's lesson. And um, I had so much fun talking about the letter A and the letter, here's the letter A. I don't know if I have a letter G to show you. I do, here we go. So today we talked about the letter A, which is in Andres's name, Jack's name, James's name, Langston's name, Malia's name, Zahara has a whole bunch of A's in her name. Today, you have an A, Santi, and both of my on hills. You both have, there's so many A's in your names. I think it's just me and Malia that don't have an A in our name. Oh, and Isa, me, Malia, and Isa, we don't have A's. And um, here's a G, let me see who has a G in their name, Langston. Um, uh, okay, uh, who else? I think just Langston, Lang oh, on, on Hill, both on Hills and Langston have G's in your name, which reminds me, I hope that you are practicing your name songs like Malia, M-A-L-I-Y-A-H or um, Sade, S-U-D-E-A, S-U-D-E-A or my on Hills are A-N-D-E-L, Langston, let me think how yours goes. She'll be coming around, not when she comes. L-A-N-G-S-T-O-N, that's my name. L-A-N-G-S-T-O-N, L-A-N-G-S-T-O-N, L-A-N-G-S-T-O-N is Langston's name. And there's plenty other ones like Isa is I-S-S-E. Na, 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 na. So practice your names. Um, okay, guys, have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, check out Mr. Williams is doing a read aloud. Make sure you check that out.